It's that time of year again when we talk about everyone's favorite topic, influencers. Sorry, influencers. To influence, what does it mean? How does it happen? You see, I've been an influencer for quite some time now. In fact, I'm probably like the apex influencer because you never know when I'm being ironic or unironic. You never know if this is all just a bit. All you see is Philion, or at least your perception of who I am, what I do, how much money I make. In fact, I could be a whole ass electrician and you would have no idea. You see, I have my doctoral degree in influencerology, which makes me the perfect person to comment on which influencer makes the most money. I'm gonna be honest, influencers have the potential to make absolute guap. It's the most tried and true way to make new money in 2023. There's a reason why every kid wants to be a YouTuber when they grow up. It's never Instagrammer. No, it's always YouTuber because they know there's levels to this shit. Nobody really looks at themselves in the mirror and says, yeah, I wanna make TikTok for a living? No, it's YouTuber or bust. I guess streamers there too, but like... At this point, you know what to expect. We're watching which influencer makes the most money, and it's me. You give me, so like, bougie looks. I will like, put you in the front. All right, the Scooby-Doo gang has been revealed. It's the usual suspects. If we're gonna rank influencer income from least to most, I gotta know what platform or what they do on social media, and then I can give you a better idea. I agree, actually. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna shoot down, like, three spots. I disagree. I personally believe you probably make $1 billion. <laughs> I agree. I was going to say the same thing. He gives me ga maybe gamer. Yeah, let's. I'm going to put him in the middle. He's oh. still mentally here for me. Right now, they're just going off of appearances. I'm going to spoil something for you guys. Typically, the hotter you are, the more money you make. That's just a reality of the world. Now, of course, there are outliers to that, but let's not pretend that there isn't a bias towards attractive people. And it's probably even exacerbated on social media because it's whatever you want to portray. I feel like your shoes, Rhea, are kind of expensive. I can't tell if it's like a knockoff, but quality platforms are usually like Plus the all black, 200 the all black. to $300. Mm, that's a good point. They could be thrifted or they could be like 350. There is zero in between. You give me like, um, you have like a million followers on Instagram and you do like model shoots every single day, like fashion shoots. And stuff. So, <laughs> I want to put her in the middle. What's your name over there? Grace. I can't really make out any of the drip quite yet. If I have that as an indicator, pff, it's game over. I could file them away easy. I don't know, you give me like the vibe that you have, you make a lot of money like selling cookies with your nice, <laughs> or like sweaters on Etsy or like something. Sweet, very sweet. Yeah, yeah very sweet. Vibes. And you have a fun TikTok, TikTok. So I think you are like over here, over here, yeah. I like this. I kind of like it. I'm cool with this too. You think this makes sense? Mm, I'm gonna disagree. I think Rhea should be one more ahead. I'm so confused as to how they come to this conclusion. Why are they ranked like this? All the women are on one side and the dudes, the gamers, the geeks are all the way on the left. Okay. I would put Josh like further up. In front up, of me like, maybe? Yeah, maybe between you two. Yeah, I agree. I would be good right here. Josh, no, no, Josh, no, on, Josh. Josh where's your sweater from? H&M. <laughs> no drip. <laughs> I'm sorry, but H&M quality is absolute dog water, fast fashion. And I'm mad because your boy bought a shirt years ago for $6, trying to get his drip up, and what do you know? One wash, and it disappeared into a wisp. I couldn't even use it to clean my mirror as a rag. H&M. I don't hate this lineup. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I kind of think it's... You think this is the lineup? Okay. Make TikTok videos. Oh, here we go. Now we get to learn about the platforms about like tech reviews and tech stuff. Oh, that's money. I disagree. That is no bread. Tech reviews on TikTok? What, what are we talking here? I was playing. Those hobbies seem pretty cool. I run a couple businesses from it. What kind of tech businesses? Like can laptops, computers? Like type on keyboards. I make like custom ones. Um, and I also now I'm getting into like clothes. So I designed this hoodie. All right, making his own clothes, custom keyboards. I feel like you're great with money. So mm -hmm. even if you maybe technically didn't like bring in as much as some other of us a couple years ago, you maybe have grown it more because you're probably very smart. I'm sure you're investing. I feel like you absolutely I need think to go needs higher to up. up. How many TikTok accounts do you have? Three. 
that have done well. You should second take my ten. spot. I'm I would scary over second here. Ten. I don't see how TikTokers make money unless they become YouTubers. Sorry, that's it. Unless you have millions of followers, you're not making money on TikTok. The algorithm is absolute dog water for payouts. It's like 8 billion views equals 43 cents. Yeah, I would, I would put you like second. Let's do second. Tech is a lot of money. Plus you have all those other income streams on top of it. Yeah. Too. First of all, where do these influencers come from? More importantly, where do you come from? Which is why today's video is sponsored by My Heritage. Have you ever wondered who you really are? Whenever I ask my family about my ancestors, they have no idea. But to be honest, I want to know my exact breakdown. Where does Filion come from? And I was lucky enough to have been sent a My Heritage DNA kit, which will provide exactly that. The very first thing you're going to want to do is activate your DNA kit with the card given in the box. This kit comes equipped with two mouth swabs, two vials, and lastly, a return package and envelope. All you have to do is take one of the swabs, choose a cheek, and swirl it around for 30 to 60 seconds. I, yeah. <laughs> then you take the vial and snap off the tip, like so, and repeat for the other side. Lastly, place the bag in the envelope and you will get your results in four to six weeks. I've been told I'm Italian, Irish, German, Albanian, Czechoslovakian, and English. So if any of those actually check out, I'll be pretty happy. All right, so it's been a couple weeks and I finally got my test results back. So let's see what I'm made out of. I gotta say I'm impressed because this is pretty spot on from what I've been told and I learned a thing or two about myself. I am 42.6% North and Western European, 26.8% Greek and South Italian, 20.1% Italian, 9.7% Balkan, and ready for this? 0.8% Finnish. I had no idea. In addition to DNA testing, MyHeritage offers a platform that makes it easy to build your family tree and research your family history. It's fun and easy to find out your origin story, and you may even find some relatives that you never knew you had. Get your MyHeritage DNA kit now. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen and use code Filion to get free shipping. As an added bonus, you can start a 30-day free trial of MyHeritage's best subscription for family history research and enjoy a 50% discount if you decide to continue it. So I teach people how to be content creators, but I'm also a Twitch streamer. Do you sell a course? I was just about to ask. Ah. Ooh, the course seller. Does she? I don't sell a course because I believe in like making education free for people. So I don't like paywalling info. Oh, thank God. I was about to say, if she was selling courses, front of the line. It's the fastest way to get rich. Join my course for $997. If you join in the next four minutes, you get 4% off. How do you make your income um, without the ads? So I get $2.50 for every sub that I get. That's like one way that I make my money. Yeah, classic Twitch subs, two fifty dollars per sub. It's like, why does Twitch take 50%? TikTok sponsorships yeah. mainly. And I also have like Instagram and YouTube and stuff, but they're like really small. This girl is on every platform. I mean, those are two pretty lucrative platforms, but also you have a lot of morals, which makes me think you don't make as much money. <laughs> you haven't sold your soul. Yeah, yeah I mean, that, with the LA rent rising though. <laughs> You may have not caught it, but she just dropped a self-report. She said LA, which means a shoebox is at least 3,500 a month, utilities not included. I still don't think you should be last though. Like, I don't feel like she should move until we hear a couple more. Yeah, yeah, I would keep myself down I here. I like, <laughs> bring her here. <laughs> and if you factor in the fact that the top 1% of Twitch is 50 concurrent viewers or more, she could just have like four subscribers. Uh, so I do a few different things. Uh, um, my big one is I am a sex educator, so I host a podcast. We just launched the third season. So I've been doing that since 2019. Uh, and I do sex education content on my Instagram as well as on my TikTok. And then I also upload all the podcast episodes to my YouTube channel. Sex ed, you say? Man, I love Latinas. She's making zero doubloons. Now podcasts are interesting because you're either rolling in it or you're not making anything at all. I feel like the podcast boat sailed like three years ago. And if you're not established already, you're not making a living off of podcasting. There is no organic growth for podcasting. You have to syndicate all of your content on every single platform. You have to go viral on TikTok. It's just like, no. Ooh, and I YouTube, you've got and she's been doing it for three years. But my, my one caveat is sex education, which 
In terms of making money through sponsorships, not many companies would want to uh, fortunately work with a sex educator, even yeah. though I think it's like a cool And thing. it's harder to get ad revenue because yeah. um, I'm constantly, you know, working Shadow through thing. bands mm -hmm. and things like that. I'm saying move her down left unless she has a poppin' Patreon, like ya boy. How are you making most of your money though? Through all of those, as well as OnlyFans. Everything I just said was a lie. Send her to the front. OnlyFans is OP, needs to be nerfed. Honestly, get that bag because the numbers I hear, it takes a dump on every other platform. I can't compete with that unless I'm showing my double cheeked up ass. And something tells me not many of you would want to pay for that. Oh, but OnlyFans makes money. Yeah, you can make mm. OnlyFans has such an uncapped potential. I would put you up here. Third? Third? Like top three for yeah. sure. Okay. All right, so uh, I make like content just around like money and I try and teach Gen Z uh, good like money habits with short little funny videos. Finance um, makes so much money because not only do they push it, but you also get so many sponsorships, especially from YouTube. Here's the interesting thing about finance as a niche on social media. The CPM and RPM on that, meaning the amount of money you generate via views. <laughs> Holy shit. I'll be browsing on Twitter and I see people's CPMs that they just self post and I'm like, my guy, what? Seven quick tips to put your money in the piggy bank. If you put your money in the bank, you're losing it to inflation. Buy my drop shipping course down below for eight grand. It's a great deal. Imagine taking financial advice from teenagers on social media. And what sucks is if you have no money, but you wanna be a finance creator on YouTube, all you have to do is just talk about it long enough, build up a small following, and then you actually have money. And the system just feeds itself. And it's like, I'm a millionaire at 23. Society is collapsing in 2023. Here are four quirky ways on how to survive the Great Depression. Are you on YouTube or are you on primarily TikTok? This girl knows her stuff and she's self-reporting that she makes a lot of money. It, it goes like in this order, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube stuff. I would put you up because you do finance. Yeah. Finance is such a lucrative niche. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Not when you have an OnlyFans girl in the lineup. Okay, I am a TikToker. I knew it. <laughs> I knew I could tell. Uh, I do like, mostly fashion stuff, like secondhand fashion, vintage stuff, and lifestyle. What do you sell? Uh, I don't really anymore. I started like my TikTok promoting my online vintage shop, and that's how I became a TikToker. Yeah, back of the line. And now I just like do fashion stuff. Do you do it full time? Yeah. Sure, so your stuff. revenue comes from sponsorships. Yeah, it's like all social media now. I don't know. Fashion makes like no money that's unless true. you're a thin white woman. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> So, <laughs> so she's a thin white woman, so. Being plus size in the social media industry is definitely been hard. Why do I feel like it's low key an advantage these days? There's visibly fat plus size people, and then there's people with the quintessential perfect curves. Like almost, unfortunately, how plus size are you? Why are we gatekeeping plus size models? <laughs> If you do lifestyle, but you're a small creator, you get nothing. We're just gonna move on from that. Like they yeah, literally yeah. only gifting campaigns and then like even then they gaslight you into feeling like you should be grateful for it. Yeah, absolutely. But given, I'm guessing you sound like you're a very large creator and then like I feel like I've seen your videos on my free page. I would maybe put you first. Oh, don't do that. Yeah. I'm also, this is like my first year doing this. Yeah, I'd Again, say, we I'd know say anyone's right here. I don't me. think I make more than you. We, we still have time to switch. That's so. true. Mm -hmm. Hard disagree. Okay, so I um, am a plus size supermodel, so everything I do is pretty much lifestyle around that. And it's been my full time job for about four years now. What is the lifestyle around being a plus size model? You just model and you're plus sized. I have my own cannabis and sexual wellness podcast. So I do that separately. What a combo. <laughs> the stoned and horny podcast. Huh, let's check this out. I don't know. He got the wise idea. Maybe it'd be better if he put it in my butt. So it's still like dry. He's like trying to dry fuck my asshole. Oh. And I was literally <laughs> like, oh my God, it hurts. So then he grabs this cucumber. No <laughs> way. I remember the smell. I remember the smell. This cucumber. Where did it come from? Just like the floor. What do you mean? Dresser. You were in your bedroom and now there's a Cucumber. What the fuck? <laughs> I also have my own consultation and coaching business where I teach aspiring plus size models. So I have an online course that's a master class that I do quarterly. A workshop on how to train plus size models. Like the gym? <laughs> and then I also have a blog separately that I post on one to, at least once a week. And the ad marketing is just starting on my blog. So it's not 
too far in there, but I'm very familiar with ad marketing and revenue. Have a, a lot. I will put you first. Absolutely. Like, just, <laughs> yeah. You have Absolutely. so many streams of income. So many streams of income. Yeah. I, She's talking way too much. You just seem very, very knowledgeable. And what about you, Kazumi? I do OnlyFans. I also do YouTube. I also do Instagram. GG. It's over. Throw her in the front. Um, my main stream of income though is TikTok. Not specifically from ad revenue, but I make like seven to 10 TikToks and I just like pump out as many reels of me as I A can. A day? Yes, with, wow. different, with different captions and I just lead it back to my OnlyFans. Game over. Not only does she have an OnlyFans, but she understands the sales funnel where everything has to lead back to the OnlyFans. It's genius. But I do, I make a lot of memes. That's like my kind of like niche. I make porn memes. Do you have memes. a billboard in WeHope? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do have a billboard in WeHope. I saw okay. that. What? And she's cross-pollinating with traditional media advertising? This is the raid boss. Do you take sponsorships? No, I'm a sex worker, so they don't, sponsors don't want me or my face to represent their brand. Does not matter, you're making guap. The only reason I get away with that is because I also am a sex educator, so, yeah. but it's, it, I completely understand the second they hear that you have any sort of like OnlyFans or sex work. Yeah, like, that's so lame because you already know that they're all subscribed to it anyway. Where do you rank, like what's your percentage on OnlyFans? I'm 0.01. Yeah. Percent. Okay. Number All right. one. What? Number one. <laughs> that was a perfect question to ask. I have to switch. Absolutely. How many guys have you been with? Um, I used to do parties and I would get for like 50 dudes a night. Okay, so you're on No Jumper. Yeah. Hold on. Because <laughs> I've seen that clip before. That's the kind of video that goes viral. I mean, there's, yeah. there's no doubt about it. That video has millions of views. Here's the crazy thing. She doesn't even have to be telling the truth. As long as she just says something astronomical, so crazy that it just garners that much attention, it's just more OnlyFans subscriptions. Let's analyze that for a second. 50 dudes. Could you imagine that? Like anchovies, just single file line? There's no way that's real. Congrats on your new baby. Insert cash or select payment oh, type. Funny. Use <laughs> pin pad to complete transaction. I'm sorry, what? The average cost of childbirth and pregnancy <laughs> care in the US is $6,940 with health insurance or $13,000 without, and it can vary wildly. I changed my mind. What's your return policy like? <laughs> I like that little wholesome content with some actual financial advice. I just don't envision him making that much off of comedy finance TikToks. This is my dad, and this is his at-home work setup. He hates it. So today, I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm gonna first add a custom keyboard I built for him and a mouse, and then we're gonna go ahead and give him the FOPO triple monitor so laptop an adapter. This is gonna turn a single laptop screen into a triple monitor like adapter. All right, so he's into tech. He's got the Shure SM7B. That'll run you like 400 off the rip. A custom mechanical keyboard could easily be three to $400, depending on your parts. I'd put him in the middle of the pack, just on the sheer tech alone. But he is living with his parents. Middle of the pack, less than the guy before. Nose is smushed up against our kissing partner's face, is actually opening up our nostrils and making their pheromones more obvious to us. And whether you realize it or not, your body will actually react to that person's pheromones and can make you more attracted to them if your body thinks they're a good biological match. What are we, ants? <laughs> Best websites for Twitch streamers. Twitch Tracker is a website that tracks your stream data. It'll show you the max viewers, follower gains, and the amount of hours you stream per stream. They also have a very nice graph showing your average viewer count and the amount you streamed. And cool stats like average viewer count per day. If those are her stats, she's pulling an average of 130 to 150 concurrent viewers. Probably two grand a month off Twitch. I feel like I should go down on the tech men. I feel the like tech men should I want to up. put, I think your name is Teddy, right? Yes. You second, because I saw that, I saw that ad. Tech pays well. That ad was really well edited. I'm pretty sure companies will see that and be like, I want, I want to go and sponsor him again. But I'll put you second. I'd right put now. you second. Yeah. Key. I'm okay where I'm at. Um. The thing with followers, subscribers, what have you. Yes, they're a good indication because it's like your currency base, right? This is going to be an important metric. Everything I just said could have been a lie. This will give us clarity. All right, Kazumi with 500 on Insta, 21,000 paid only. Kazumi is on another planet. Teddy, I mean, TikTok like, doesn't mean anything to me, and Instagram is dead. Same with Josh. 
Haley has 700k on Facebook. She's got the old mom demographic or the creepy uncle. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about Facebook ads, but I do know that Facebook is also dead. Grace and Teddy, pretty similar socials. Raya casually pulling up with the 715k on YouTube. Never mind. What? That is a dead channel if I've ever seen one. So maybe it doesn't really mean anything. And Cat with 42,000 followers on Twitch. You can make a living off Twitch with that number. Do you guys feel like numbers, like the follower count matters? No. Oh, hell no. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. One thing I'd like to say is like quality, de depending what industry you're in, because I have a friend who has quadruple the following I do and 10 times the engagement, and I make three times as much as she does because of the quality and I sell usage rights so people can use it as ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think, yeah, I think, that's I think. A lot. Yeah, I would put I'm second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many hours do you guys work? I work every day. A lot. Yeah. Like this week I worked like four 18 hour days. The vibe is just off. <laughs> She's like grandstanding on everyone. Yeah, I work 26 hours every day. At minimum, there's no day where I'm working, le like almost every single day where I'm working less than five hours at least. They're so mad. <laughs> Tell me they're not pissed. I'm not trying to diminish what they were saying. Like it is hard work. And like when she was talking about like, oh, like work doesn't end, but like, it's like, it does. You can go get a movie and like sit in your bed and scroll emails. It's not the same as like being expected to be somewhere and like be a slave all day and be off your phone. And like, you're not a person when you're at work, but like you're a person when you're doing this job. It's hard to, when you do a job like this, because at first I was like, oh, I don't actually, you know, work that many hours, but then you, it's like the second I wake up, I'm checking and I'm deciding what I'm gonna yeah, do that day. And the actually second like I actually go to bed. All the day. Yeah. yeah. It's like how do you decipher what's yeah, working so what's it's not. What is my reality? <laughs> Sometimes I catch myself just <sighs> scrolling. I'm maybe not working four hours straight because I'll stop and I'm, I have the privilege of being able to grab lunch with friends or shop in the middle of the day or like do whatever I do, but that doesn't mean I'm not constantly, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. working in some capacity. And then like so weekends don't know. exist. Right, exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's really no days off. You know what I've been doing? Thinking about my job, my career, as school. You do your homework, you get your work done on time, you pay attention, you get smarter. You're gonna outperform 99% of people. How was your come up? Because I started with gaming content and then I transitioned into education. I did too. Like when, oh my God, love gaming. But um, like, especially as like a female gamer who was trying to do content, I got memed on so much. Everyone's like, oh my God, you're such an e-girl. Like, yeah, a, like AVG e-girl e -girl aesthetic. Haha, -ha, you suck at the game we anyways. Love and now it's in. Dude, and now I, it's like I know, aesthetic. and now it's cool, right? What babe? year were you doing that? I was doing it in like 2018, 2019. You just gotta lean into it. You can't let the memes get the best of you. E-girls pump on social media. Everybody wants to be an e-girl, myself included. I was doing it in 2011. Oh. To be a female YouTuber in a male dominated space in 2011 was traumatizing. Brutal. I have a question for you, Josh. Do yeah. you feel like you have to work harder or um, fight for what you're worth as a black man? I don't know if I necessarily have to fight harder, but it is a little bit harder to stand out and like, get people to take you seriously. It's actually one of the reasons that uh, I've signed with like a management agency that only represents black creators. Oh, I okay. love that. Yeah, so it just feels like a, you know, like a small family. Absolutely. And, you know, I know that they're like out there fighting to they're get like what's best for yeah. them. Yeah. I don't know what to say. This guy's cool. <laughs> This looks like it makes sense. I feel yeah. like it doesn't. I feel like I need to go yeah, down wanna, one I or two. I want to move down. I feel like with the YouTube AdSense, maybe I would switch this. I think we should, maybe. We switch. And Josh, you have a manager. I don't. I think you're. Okay, but I want to. I want to say this though. They do I, have, I have a modeling agency, and eighty percent of the work that I get, I get myself. That's fair. It's more about him getting one. I don't feel the need for one because I don't think I'm getting as many maybe as he is. Interesting. That's just my take. You have what's, multiple businesses. What's your second biggest channel again? Let's take a look at this lineup. All the way on the left has to move towards the middle. It's for my business and it has 75,000. Now I have employees and I don't really do anything. Oh. This man drops that he has employees at the last second. I really don't think I should be here. I think he needs you to be second. Oh. He's employees. I feel like I just want to move myself in between, in between us. I, I, that makes sense to or me. Or like lower. How do we feel about this? This, yeah, this looks like our final answer. Move the Twitch girl between Teddy and Vogue and you have my lineup. Seventh spot, Teddy at 115K annually. What? What? That was a shocker. No way. They basically just said, ha ha loser, you're poor, brokey. Sixth spot, Haley, 125K annually. 
Interesting. Six figure club. <laughs> Six spot. Cat, 175K. None of this makes sense. <laughs> Fourth spot. Grace, 180K. And the third spot. Josh, 275K. I knew you were up here. And in the second spot. Rhea, 300K. What the fuck? <laughs> and the first spot. Kazumi, absolutely not. Sex worker. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> w I tried so Retire tomorrow. <laughs> the moral of the story is I'm washed up and know nothing about the inner workings of modern influencers. I am an anomaly and I don't represent what all sex workers make. I make a lot of money, but it is still something that you should deeply consider before getting into because it is something that has holds a lot of social stigma and does make life hard if you don't like doing it. What is that, like 275k a month? I would suck a golf ball through a garden hose. <laughs>